Welcome to a new lecture on web data mining. Today we are going to cover the topic of association rules, sometimes also called as the topic of frequent item sets. The overall problem that we are going to look at is discovering frequent item sets in data and then using the discovered frequent item sets to generate association rules between items. So I'm going to explain what frequent item sets are and what association rules are. Uh, but I just want to give you some idea that these two topics are actually closely related, which is why the names may seem very different, but actually they are just alternative names uh, for essentially uh, the same topic. The slides that uh, I'm going to use today are drawn from the Stanford course on web data mining in the CS department called cs246.stanford.edu which is taught by Yuri Leskovich. So um, these slides are drawn from the lecture on association rules in that course. Although we are not going to cover everything that is covered in the Stanford course. But the readings for uh, today's lecture are going to be the corresponding chapter on association rules in the book Mining Massive Data Sets. by Jeff Ullman and Anand Rajaraman which is freely available online. So if you go to the web website of the Stanford course CS246 and uh, scroll down you should be able to see the handouts and this is the presentation I'm talking about association rules uh, based on discovering frequent item sets and the reading is drawn from chapter 6 of the textbook that I just mentioned so the, te the chapter can be viewed uh, in PDF format directly on this website and we are just going to cover the first two sections of this chapter up to the a priori algorithm. So we're not, we're not going to cover uh, sections 6.3 onwards. So the reading for today's uh, lecture is just going to be section 6.1 and section 6.2 from this chapter. So let's go back and continue with our presentation. The very first thing that we are going to look at is something called the market basket model. In order to understand what this model is, imagine a supermarket store, a large supermarket store with potentially many chains across the country. It could be a store like Safeway for example in the US. So you have a huge chain of stores where Every day, hundreds of thousands of customers come and buy products in the brick and mortar store. And while checking out at the register, the items that are in their shopping cart are recorded at the register. This data, which is gathered for all the customers that are buying at that store is then aggregated across all the stores and that aggregated data can be as large as as large as a few terabytes so it's a huge amount of data which cannot fit into the main memory of a single machine so the goal of this supermarket store is to mine that data to identify items that are bought together by sufficiently many customers. And the approach for identifying these items 
is to process that sales data which is collected with barcode scanners across all the stores for all the customers and to discover dependencies among items. So here is an example of uh, such data. So you can see that there are five transactions that are recorded in this table. So TID stands for transaction ID. In the first transaction, the customer bought bread, coke and milk. Uh, in the second transaction, the, the customer bought beer and bread. So these could be different customers. So you have this kind of a transaction data where each transaction consists of a set of items. So it's a set which means that there are no uh, duplicate items in the set. So even if a customer buys three loaves of bread, we're just going to record it as a single item called bread. Now an example of a rule that could be discovered by mining this data is a rule like a cus the customers who bought milk also tended to buy coke. Customers who bought both diaper and milk had a high probability of buying beer also. So that's an, an example of a rule that one could discover. If one buys diaper and milk, then one is also likely to buy beer. So one thing that the store could do is to use these frequently occurring item sets in the transaction data and to position position items appropriately in the store so that customers who are interested in buying uh, diapers and milk will also be presented with uh, items corresponding to beer in the same aisle or in a location that's very nearby so that uh, they can conveniently locate beer as well. If somebody who's likely to buy a diaper and milk is also likely to buy beer, then by locating all these items together, you increase the likelihood that customers buying one of the items uh, or, or two of the items on the left hand side of this rule will also buy the item on the right